All right, what I got set up here is just a real quick circuit so I can start to begin to test how I'm going to interact with these actuators and how I'm going to actually make this biped walk. Um, so in the center here, I've got a pickaxe 40. I've got a FT232 USB UART so I can connect any of my I.O. pins directly to the PC. This little green flashing light, um, silly little LED, and all that's doing right now is for testing purposes just saying I'm in my main loop, I'm in my main loop. So that's flashing every quarter second or so. You can hardly see it, but right next to it is a little yellow LED. And the purpose of that is um, I've got some interrupts going in the code, so whenever an interrupt is triggered or fired, that yellow LED will go off just so I can visually see an interrupt was, was, was fired, that event was fired. And what's actually causing that interrupt to fire is this little, let me see if I can get it, this little white line right here that's coming off of the USB UART. So as I send data through the serial line, that line goes high, causes the pin to go high, goes into the interrupt, et cetera, et cetera. So over in the code, real quick, dirty, easy code, right? Two, two methods, your main method, which I said, you know, only does flashing the LED up and down, um, doing, doing a one second pause, as you can see. It also has this serial out command of a potentiometer that I have rigged up for testing purposes. And then the interrupt method, which does a ser in and then a ser out. So it just receives um, two bytes of information, what I call the device ID and then a device value. And then it echoes it right back to the PC. Uh, flashes that uh, yellow LED high and low and then reinitializes um, the interrupt. So what controls all this, come up to the second screen, is the C Sharp application. And all this guy does, let me launch it here real quick, is you can specify what COM port you want to connect to. So in this case, I'm hooked up to 16, go at 9600 baud, go ahead and connect. And as you can see, it starts to flood in with information. And it's the, uh, the 0 to 255 value of the pot that I have hooked up to the pickaxe. So that's constantly sending me information. Imagine it's constantly sending me information, re, uh, a, a potentiometer readout from the actuator. On the other side, I have the, con the, the, the uh, little section here where I can send a value to the, uh, the pickaxe. So they got the slider value here. It ranges from 0 to 255. Right? So uh, imagine saying, you know, I want this actuator that's tied to this slide value or the device ID, I'd like it to go to the position of 125, you know, roughly the halfway point. So as I send this command, I can see it go out through the debugger here and then it echoes it right back out. Um, change my value here, send a couple more commands, I can see that getting blasted out. And as I'm clicking on that, you can see the little yellow LED flashing. So. Theory proven, the interrupts are working, data is being passed back and forth in kind of appropriate protocol or fashion, and looks like I'm ready to expand this sucker.